So, um, thankfully, I don't really think this is going around too much, but Screen Rant is on their bullshit again. And yeah, I'm going to make a video about it because y'all need to know and just be aware that just in case y'all know someone that might believe the shit that they be putting out there, they're wrong. Let's get into it. Okay, so just to give you guys some sort of an idea of what we're talking about, I mean, it says it right there in the title. According to them, Gohan and Piccolo's new Dragon Ball Super forms are officially not canon. Now, I just want you to pay attention to when this article was put out, first and foremost, because this is important. They just recently put this article out here, out into the world, and they're really making this um, false because the title itself is actually very misinterpreted and it's just not i i i hate websites that are like this where you know they do for the clicks and all that and it, it's just they're just trying to bring more traffic to their website i get it but honestly i would appreciate it if you know these websites that reported on anime and other relatable sources of entertainment like i mean you see on the side there they talk about comics as well if they were just a little bit more humble and honest with you know how they decide to title things because this would make you believe that orange piccolo and beast gohan are just straight up not canon but what the title should read is that orange piccolo and beast gohan are actually anime exclusive forms or transformations the way this comes off is as if they're basically taking something that was already old and established and that's i'm not going to read the whole thing to you guys i'll put a link in the description they're sourcing cypher's translations from two months ago the date's right here you don't even have to open the tweet because I'm sure if any of y'all have been watching my videos or if you've been watching Geekdom's videos or if you've been following just about anything on Twitter from either of us or Cypher or Hype or Chronicles, dude, this is old news. You know how they were being very vague with the whole question around if Superhero was within tandem with this main continuity i'll just remind you guys really quick from what this translated piece mentioned all these months ago so they mentioned that for example broly himself was an anime original character who was brought into the world of the main series by toriyama's own hand and it's precisely those kinds of margins being left in the world of the fiction that allowed for an experiment in the first place to put it simply things are more interesting this way so of course they don't really directly say like yeah we took something that wasn't official to the continuity of what we've let out to be the actual like continuous canonical timeline or whatever but they're you know it's it's clear as day what they did i mean it, you, there's no easier way to spell it out so this article essentially goes on to say that <laughs> they're not going to be in the manga anytime soon all right so who what else wasn't in the manga blue evolution i like to call it blue gatorade diamond for vegeta okay those types of things especially like super saiyan god even for vegeta was a, was a manga exclusive for a little bit and obviously it was first shown off for the very first time in the broly movie but the thing is like i originally am pointing out to everyone that's watching this video right now is that y'all cannot take these websites seriously especially when their whole objective is to just bring traffic to their sites because it's you know that's how they make money that's how they make their money i mean clearly right and the truth of the matter is is that it's not that gohan and piccolo won't be transforming in the manga even because all they need to do is just show a little quick panel when they bridge the gaps between certain parts of the story like how they did when the term of power was finished and then they briefly briefly mentioned the events of broly by showing an art piece of broly fighting against super saiyan blue goku and vegeta and then they went right to the next arc something similar like i mentioned this in the full power podcast um so obviously go check that out but 
something like that could very well happen here when it comes time when it comes time to bring the manga back uh whenever that happens because right now it's on an indefinite hiatus um in preparation for that next arc and like i also said in said podcast episode which you know i'll go into full detail there so please go do it check it out is that i really do feel like we are going to be heading in towards that direction of end of Z territory where Goku and Oob have, you know, the interaction during the tournament of power or not tournament of power, but the tournament, the Budokai Tenkaichi, right? And um, I, I really do believe that if they were going to just keep writing just to write and more arcs were coming like within this 10 year gap, they would have just had something ready. But I think that they're going to take their time to actually really finite the details and how they want to do this. So I'm very glad about that. That's actually really important. And uh, yeah, that's basically really all there is to it. So don't worry, guys. Y'all can read this or waste your time if you want. I'll leave this in the description like I mentioned. But just all in all, this is, just a, this is meant to be just a really quick video to show and explain that no gohan and piccolo's new forms aren't not canon they're they're very canon you know let me just also point out really quick superhero takes place after this recent arc that just ended and it takes place before the events of end of z aka goku oob and that tournament so That'll that'll do it. As always, guys, make sure y'all taking care of yourselves. May the power protect. Keep it locked, loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.